I'm Tanvi Kulkarni from Nyan Prabodhini and I'm delighted to welcome you all to the prize announcement ceremony of the Nisarga Mitra activity and the project based learning olympiad. Today we celebrate the hard work, dedication and incredible achievements of our talented students who have participated in this exciting and enriching event. First and foremost, I would like to extend a warm welcome to our esteemed guests, judges, teachers and parents who have supported and encouraged our participants throughout their journey. Your guidance and encouragement have played a vital role in making this event a grand success. The Nisarga Mitra Olympiad is more than just a competition. It is a platform where young minds come together to explore, innovate and demonstrate their understanding of the environment and sustainability. This year we have witnessed an astounding array of projects each reflecting the creativity, critical thinking and problem solving skills of our students. As we gather here to recognize and honor the outstanding efforts of our participants, I would like to take a moment to appreciate every student who took part in this olympiad. Your enthusiasm and commitment have been truly inspiring. Each project presented here today is a testament to your hard work and passion for learning. And now, the moment we all have been waiting for, the prize announcements. Today we will be awarding prizes in several categories, recognizing the best projects and the brilliant minds behind them. But remember, in this journey of learning and exploration, every participant is a winner. Your participation itself is a significant achievement and we are incredibly proud of each one of you. Before we proceed to the much anticipated prize announcements, I would like to take a moment to introduce our esteemed judges and provide you with an overview of the selection criteria they used to evaluate the outstanding projects submitted by our participants. First, let's introduce our panel of judges. Ajay Bhatak sir, Director, Nyan Prabodhini Prashala Alumni Association and Trustee, Ecological Society. Dr. Nalini Gujarati, Ex-Principal Nyan Prabodhini Prashala and Mentor, Nyan Prabodhini Educational Resource Center. Director of Prabodh Arth Sanchay and Shantala Kulkarni, Aparna Athavle, Leena Talathi, Aparna Purohit, Ujwala Mate, Ariji Jere, Dr. Anuradha Over, Sunita Gayakwad, Pallavi Paradkar. Now I request our chief guest, Sunil Dadhe sir, Ajay Bhatak sir, and Dr. Nalini Gujarati ma'am, to share the project assessment key criteria. It's my pleasure to share my thoughts about Nisargamitra Olympiad. This project we conducted first time online. This was our first experience, first attempt of conducting project-based competition. We got such a wonderful response from students that I am excited to share these details to you. More than 150 schools, institutions, informal centers in 12 states have participated. There were about the students from about 23 districts of Maharashtra and schools from border states like Manipur and Assam also gave us a good response. A total of 1,769 students registered for this project, out of which 1,125 students gave the first round. Out of them, 450 students went to the third round. I will tell about these rounds afterward. Out of them, 239 students submitted the projects. Among them, 168 students who got O, A plus and A performed. We are giving prizes to 24 out of them. At the state level, we are giving prizes to Maharashtra and Manipur state. The prize could not be given at national level in this competition 
because the students number was not sufficient for that most of the children were from maharashtra now let me tell you some details of our project from 5th to 9th children learn four topics about nature and environment namely soil water plants and animals instead of teaching these topics by lecture method we decided to use learning by doing activities and projects this method was successful in creating motivation interest deeper understanding awareness about the problems of environment and lastly and mostly important the love for nature for level 1 we conducted mcq test based on uh, about four topics in the textbook just to take their knowledge that they should go through these topics very well at the level 2 we gave them interesting activities based on these topics which can be completed just in 4 hours students selected uh, one such activity from the list which we provided to them it was a big list of 20 30 activities in each topic and uh, students sent photos videos and their observations about the activity which they have selected and performed about 450 students completed this activity very enthusiastically they learn observation skills and questioning skills which are needed for doing the projects further these skills are very basic fundamental in developing creativity and problem solving skills students perform activities so well that we were tempted to give some more prizes to the best activities as an encouragement to them this we didn't declare in the beginning but this was uh, our spontaneous decision after we made the survey of all these activities at the end i will say that we have far much achieved our goals of developing creativity and problem solving and awareness about nature and next year we will continue nisargamitra olympiad in new form with more improvements from our first experience students can take part in our nisargamitra olympiad competitions as well as this can be implemented in any school in the town or rural area for this i would like to make an appeal to all educational institutions if these institutes schools approach to us all the needed technology will be provided to them this type of teaching method should spread all over maharashtra and even in the other states of india this project is in accordance with our national educational policy and i am sure that students will enjoy it and learn about creativity and problem solving more enthusiastically thank you so i am going to talk a little bit about uh, evaluation criteria that we have used for at level 4 uh, level 4 is the level where most of the students have actually submitted the projects to be to be evaluated so topic selection and understanding was the first thing that we wanted to uh, make sure that is well covered uh, why have you selected this topic was one of the questions which was raised and what did you really know about the model or what did you know about this particular topic previously was also an important starting point then we talked about working of the project so how how did you plan the project was one of the questions then the steps and the process that they have used in terms of going through this particular project the third was the scientific attitude in terms of what observations have been made how the model was conceived what was the conclusion that was therefore derived and what is the concept that has been used behind the model was also an important part of the criteria and fourth probably one of the very important criteria was innovation have we demonstrated innovative ways in which you have approached this particular project what is the new thing that you have presented as part of the model or 
are there any new alternatives that have been attempted in terms of delivering and making a model the fifth criteria was more related to whether you have actually done many of these things yourself so that was again important while uh, you were encouraged to take help as required from your teachers and even parents uh, we were able to judge as to how much work that you yourself have put as part of this particular project then was the amount of efforts uh, was the project done very quickly without really going through the full process what is the amount of time that was committed to the particular uh, set of tasks as part of this project and also if it was done very routinely and with a cadence every week every month etc was also required and judged so planning process has had important weightage in the criteria that we have been talking about learning attitude was the next one so have you demonstrated and demonstrated curiosity for example have you demonstrated that you have learning attitude how have you actually met that for the purpose when we made you made this model uh, for the project have you discussed this with your teachers have you been able to get clear understanding of what was to be done as been an important part as well and then was the understanding of the process the whole process of how you have gone about the project as i said some of the uh, criteria of planning was part of this but have you understood the full process of making a model was critical and what were the steps therefore have you laid down these steps as part of making your model was also important then we are talking about differentiation was your project unique was the topic selected unique and was the way you actually went around delivering this particular model was also unique and the last but not the least was how did you present this so when uh, some of our evaluators actually talked to you on uh, video conferences how did you actually deliver this project was also important what did you tell them how did you tell them were you able to explain the project very well were also important criteria that uh, we have used so just with this you will have a fair understanding as to what criteria we have used and now i'll move forward and make an introduction of the chief guest for this particular ceremony uh, so we have with us uh, shri sunil dade uh, shri sunil dade uh, was part of 1977 batch art of gnana prabodhini prashala in 1988 he became part of iaas uh, which is uh, an indian audit service and from that point in time has been working in several ways as part of ias uh, he has uh, been uh, part of he has been accountant general for state of maharashtra and then um, been an accountant general as part of that he has also been deputed abroad he has spent almost 5 years as an economic uh, advisor at uh, oman uh, for providing Uh, services to oman government as part of his deputation and most importantly which is very relevant in this concept uh, in this particular uh, program is uh, the fact that he was part of uh, part of setting up an international environmental uh, assessment center at uh, jaipur and this center uh, has been used for training officers not just from india but also from international community in the environmental audit he was also director general of national academy of audit and accounts and uh, his latest stint was a deputy cag for government of india and finally uh, before retirement uh, shri sunil dade worked as deputy cag for government of india uh, with this uh, small introduction of shri dade i would request uh, shri sunil dade to take over and provide his perspectives on this project based olympiad that we have been going through for last several months thank you organizers of nisargamitra olympiad dear friend ajay and all the participants of this olympiad more than 1000 of children who are future citizens of this country i am overwhelmed to see what all you have done you have really done a great job 
towards learning and you are trying to learn not only by doing not only by hearing not only by seeing but by a combination of all these plus a very important aspect which is thinking and let me say that this way of learning is extremely useful important and value based as you will realize when you go ahead from my personal experience i can tell you that a child is one who dreams big who dreams into the future and while dreaming into the future what helps is what is around us at present the seeds of future the dreams of future are based on facts of present and i'm extremely happy to know that in the course of this project you have moved around you have seen the environment around you and you have tried to learn from it and i'm told that the prize winners in this olympiad have not only learnt but have done some things which are unique which are different and which are path breaking i understand that some of you have done extensive surveys some of you have learnt by collecting things some of you have put together the results of your experiments and come out with something which is unique different i urge all of you to keep up this spirit of learning a project based learning doesn't end when the project is over it actually starts when the project ends by being nisarga mitra you have tried to be one with environment and you have tried to relate yourself to the environment please keep this relationship very very close as you go ahead because it is this environment which is going to determine the happiness or the lack of it when you grow up and as you grow i suggest please be friendly to the environment wherever you can in whatever you do using a cycle where you can avoid a polluting vehicle is one way of working for environment talking of environment having environmentally friendly products is another way of being friends to environment and let me repeat what father of our nation mahatma gandhi said he said mother nature has enough for everyone's need but not enough for anyone's greed let us remember this and this is the learning which i'm sure all of you have shared in the course of making this project i must congratulate all of you not only the prize winners prize winners of course reserve of course deserve a very happy appreciation from my side and from the side of organizers but also those who participated for the work you have done for the efforts you have put in and for the learning which you have acquired through this unique method where you have soiled your hands and where you have applied your brains to all the gnanendriyas which you have used before concluding let me compliment the organizers having this kind of an olympiad involving a thousand plus students going through all these process of evaluation and coming out with an experience for children which they would remember for lifetime is not easy and all of you have done it very well and in an outstanding manner congratulations children once again and i wish all of you to continue learning through the project mode as you grow up thank you all for a patient listening thank you thanks to all students and 150 schools non formal education centers participating in nisargamitra olympiad 
for the first time digital resource development activity and project based learning syllabus has implemented with nisargamitra all of us got a chance to explore learning by doing now we are excited to share with you a short clip of amazing projects submitted by our dedicated students let's take a look at their inspiring work Now I request Kavita Sapra ma'am Merc CSR leader to announce the results. Hi I am Kavita Sapra from EP Mora Works the project sponsor of Nisarga Mitra and other applications. And today on behalf of the organizing committee I want to express our sincere gratitude to all the wonderful students who took part in the activity project based learning called Nisarga Mitra our nature right our nature is the most important part of our life which we have to make sure it is safer so we, this is for the green generation uh, who has to make sure that we have everything in place and try to rectify what our forefathers or our and even us in this generation has spoiled it. so thank you for taking part in this uh, activity based uh, learning olympia also i would I I you know I kind of really appreciate your passion, creativity, and commitment, which has truly really made this event a resounding success. Without each one of the participants who have given their time, their thought process in place, it wouldn't have been possible today to be standing here and talking about this project and appreciating each of you. We deeply, uh, you know, impressed. You know, we are deeply impressed by the innovative projects and depth of knowledge each one of you have demonstrated through the submissions. It can be anything from the smallest to the biggest, or maybe an innovation of an ink. It's really nice to know that our younger generation thinks differently and much ahead of time. So, participating in such events demands significant effort, dedication. And a lot more along with your studies. I understand that you know time is a factor, but each one of you not only embraced the challenge but also you know amplified the power of project-based learning and set a great example. Each project which we have uh, you know uh, received has uh, uh, shown the importance of environmental stewardship. and sustainable practices reflecting on the core content of nisarga mitra the reason why uh, you know as a corporate we wanted to uh, invest in a project a sustainable project so the learning becomes very important easy and uh, it it makes the brain work and you know this is the result here today thanks to each one of you so we hope this exercise has been uh, enriching for you as it has been for us inspiring for us to witness your brilliance uh, and dedication seen through your submitted projects it's really nice to see uh, those little minds teaching us okay this can be done and you missed it so thank you every 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 phase is a learning phase and thank you for teaching us again remember by just participating each of you are already a winner each one of you your participation is the most important thing because when i was a kid i used to not participate but later i learned late that at least if you participate you would know okay this is something i missed and this is my opportunity so participation is is very important and uh, now let's uh, announce the best project uh, again like i said everybody did the best but there is something better always so that's what i uh, hear it is i would uh, now announce the uh, state level prizes for the to participants from 5th to 7th grade uh, great work team i i you know i know i'm far away but my 
Hearty congratulations to all of them. I wish good luck for everybody, all the participants. Uh, and here are the names which I want to read. The first, let me look into the list because I need to read out the names. So here we go with the Manipur winners. And uh, here it is. <clears throat> so stage level project winners, Manipur, fifth to seventh grade. So the third prize goes to this amazing team from Pau Shankar Vidyalaya, Tamil Long, Manipur, and all the winners are from the same school. So the third prize goes to Augustine Hoini Lingni Nepni and uh, Mamping Glen. I hope I pronounced the name right. Please pardon me if not. The second prize goes to the group of the participants uh, Blessing, Teresa, Rick Saolong, Jay Longan, and uh, La Jolai. Thank you, congratulations. And now comes the announcement of the first prize from Manipur. And the group uh, participants' names are Nandiluk. Um, Kadangli, Rachel, Vim Chamsi, and Jimin. Congratulations to all the participants and the winners. You did a great job. Hoping to see you guys again in our next, um, you know, activity-based learning Olympiad. Thank you, Manipur, and thank you to all the teachers, parents, everybody who supported them to achieve this success. Now, uh, since once we now we have announced uh, the Manipur uh, winners, so here now we go to Maharashtra again from group one, that is fifth grade to seventh grade. So here it goes. So we start with uh, a token of appreciation prize, a special prize for uh, this gentleman, Shardul Parker, for his innovation. Right, and he is from Udyani Ketan Convent School uh, from Sindhu Group. Now, this, we move on to our consolation prizes. And uh, here, be ready to hear your names. Anandi Anirudh Jada from Anandi Ketan Nasik. Uh, the next consolation prize goes to Agastya Sadashir Gadekar from New English Medium School, Pune. Then we have Anshul Agarwal from Millennium National School, Pune. We have Kaivalya Amritkar from Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir. Next is Karan Chawan from Anand Niketan Nashik. Then we have our Consolation Prize winner for this category and he is Devashri Karmakar from Ahiya Devi High School. Now we move on to the next category that is the third prize. And uh, we have from this new English medium school, Tesha Kuljapurkar. Amazing, congratulations to all the winners. The second prize goes to Akash Rathor. It's a group again, yeah. So Akash Rathor, Prathmesh Kale, Dilip Badavi, and Israel Ismail. And they are from our implementing partner, Vnana Prabodhini Vidyale Harali, Hariali School. Now comes the most awaited category, and that is our first press. And this goes to Parisa Ambavane from Anand Niketan Nash. Congratulations to everybody in this category and thank you for all your hard work and dedication. It really means a lot to us. To all the group one winners, uh, which was from fifth grade to seventh grade. And now we move on to group two, which is from the eighth to ninth grade. And uh, again, uh, like I said, all the participants are already winners. And this is just, you know, uh, just by one or two marks, it's that kind of comp that close competition is going on. So, uh, again, congratulations to everybody. And now I'm going to announce the group two winners, that is from eighth to ninth grade. So, we again start with the consolation prizes. 
and the first group which gets this the consolation prize is from Vidya Niketan Convent School Kasal and it and the students are Kayur Fansekar and Tanaya J. Rani. Congratulations team. Um, our second consolation prize goes to uh, Anand Niketan School and his name is uh, Mrinmaya Kelkar. Congratulations. The third consolation prize is for the group from Abhinav Bodhini Vidyalaya and the students' names are Abhijit, Sumit and Pradeep Ramdas. Congratulations team. Our next consolation prize is for Parth Kavle and he is from Des Shidur Pune. Our next uh, consolation prize winner is Akshay Mandar Pathak and he is from MBS Bal Shikshna Mandir EMS. Our next consolation prize goes to Siddhi Sachin Jadav from Padma Bhushan Vasant Dada Patil High School Nirvani. And the next consolation prize goes to the group Tushar Patange and um, Virasdar Manaji Vilas and they are from Nanak Bodhini Vidyalaya. Our next consolation prize goes to Nivedita from Jai Hind High School and Junior College Pimpri Pune. And uh, the next winner for consolation prize is Yayan Joshi from Homeschooling Natural Learning. Congratulations Yayan. And the next consolation prize goes to Agni Redkar from SPM. Amazing. So imagine so many consolation prizes which means the competition was really close. And this is the quality what uh, we all are looking in our I know, future change makers. So congratulations to everybody. Now I move on to the third prize uh, in our uh, group 2 category and that is won by the group. Uh, is, uh, the names are Dhyaneshwari Santosh and Kranti Kishore. Congratulations and they are from Madhyamik Vidyalaya Yadavadi. Now the second prize goes to Yathart from Guardian School. Congratulations. And here comes the uh, first prize in group 2 category and, uh, his, and the name is, any guesses? Okay, let me reveal it. It's Mukta Chaudhary from Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidyalaya. Oh, and the topic was plants. So great, great, amazing team. I only want to say that uh, keep thinking different. You need not be out of the box always because there's a lot of things in the inside the box. Small things make great differences. Small steps, you can go. Every step counts, right? That's what I want me to say. Every step counts. So please do what you're doing. Congratulations to all the winners and all the participants and thank you Nana Prabodhani for having this great, uh, you know, a differently made learning process which is really really important in today's time because practical presence is important than the uh, you know just uh, by reading in the books. Thank you again to all of you. Congratulations to all of us because we all are one team and uh, looking forward to meet you all in person very soon if possible and thank you great. Now I will announce best observation activity prize in group 1. First prize Arya Kulkarni, Millennium National School Pune. Second prize Gatha Kamatkar, Nyan Prabodhini Bal Vikas Mandir, Solapur. Third prize Anshuman Bade, Anand Niketan, Nashik. Fourth prize Shruti Jain, PJKM and Purva Nilakanta, Shri Dada Maharaj Natekar, Panchakosh Adharit Vidyale, Chikli, Pune. Fifth prize, Saili Malge, Let Vihem Mehta High School, Solapur. Now, I will announce best observation activity prizes in group 
टू फर्स्ट प्राइज अखिलेश बालचंदर श्री श्री रविशंकर विद्या मंदिर भूगाव पुणे सेकंड प्राइज आर्या खंडागड़े अंबोली थर्ड प्राइज दीक्षा सावंत अंबोली फोर्थ प्राइज तनिक्षा कुंभारे लेट व्ही एम मेहता हायस्कूल सोलापूर थँक्स फॉर पार्टिसिपेटिंग द निसर्ग मित्र ऑलिम्पियाड कॉम्पिटिशन हॅज रीच्ड इट्स फायनल डेस्टिनेशन अँड द रिझल्ट आर डिक्लेअर्ड नाव जजेस वॉन्ट्स टू शेअर देअर व्ह्यूज अबाउट द प्राइज विनिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स इन दिस ऑलिम्पियाड प्लांट्स ॲनिमल्स अँड बर्ड्स सॉइल अँड वॉटर वर द फोर सब्जेक्ट्स गिव्हन टू द स्टुडंट्स ऑब्झर्वेशन्स ऑफ जजेस अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट्स सबमिटेड इन द फायनल लेवल दॅट इज द लेवल फोर आर द स्टुडंट्स हॅव टेकन अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट्स फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट्स सम प्रोजेक्ट्स वर रिअली ॲडमायरेबल बट द डॉक्युमेंटेशन वॉज नॉट ॲज परफेक्ट ॲज एक्सपेक्टेड एम प्रोसिजर ऑब्झर्वेशन्स ॲनालिसिस अँड कन्क्लुजन दिस मेथड वॉज नॉट ऑब्झर्व इन द सबमिटेड डाटा इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस स्पेशली मोर एफर्ट्स वर नीडेड ऑन द ॲनालिसिस लेवल मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टुडंट्स ऑप्ट कलेक्शन बेस्ड प्रोजेक्ट्स सर्वे अँड मॉडेल मेकिंग वेअर द सेकंड प्रायोरिटीज इनोव्हेशन अँड प्रॉब्लेम सॉल्विंग वेअर रेअरली सिलेक्टेड नाव अबाउट द प्राइज विनिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स इन ग्रुप वन द कॉम्पिटिशन वॉज रादर टफ द फर्स्ट प्राइज विनर प्रोजेक्ट इन ग्रुप इज कलेक्शन ऑफ वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ प्लांट्स द स्टुडंट्स हॅज रिअली डन अ मार्वलस जॉब द स्टुडंट ऑलमोस्ट हॅड प्रिपेअर्ड अ स्मॉल म्युझियम ऑफ पार्ट्स ऑफ प्लांट्स इन हर हाऊस द स्टुडंट हॅज मेड अँड हर्बेरियम ऑल्सो her live presentation was much better than documentation she shows the significance of each and every part that she collected she was confident and answered each and every question in detail really an admirable and worth of winning the first prize the second prize goes to a group project this is a model making project they have tried to make various utensils from soil though the final products were somewhat rough their utensils are usable really an admirable effort which is capable of winning a prize the third prize winner student had made a survey of river mutha in pune and commented about its current status related to pollution level the student also interviewed some activists working as eco friends to prevent pollution in the mutha river the projects of herbarium and extract from medicinal plants were notable and hatke effort of preparing food atoms from millets making jivamrut which are a remarkable projects and excellent observations of birds in the surroundings are done group 2 in group 2 8th and 9th the first prize winning project is an excellent attempt to make paper and ink from plants really an innovative project making organic manure from flowers got the second prize he used the manure in his garden and distributed it to the people in his neighborhood the third prize winning project is a group project they have made a survey on the lifestyle of animals and birds in their village a remarkable and hatke project is made by a student he has surveyed about an elephant's life in a rajiv gandhi zoo at katraj pune This was an admirable attempt. The questionnaire, observations, analysis and documentation all are very good. The projects bird at an artificial water resources making jivamrut are also remarkable. Overall, the enthusiasm 
among the students was great but some improvements in the documentation analysis of data are needed but Nisarga Mitra Olympiad was really happy journey and has been successful in making students Nisarga Mitra. In the new year, let us meet with new ideas and subjects. Thank you. Deciding prizes in the Olympiad is a challenging task. Given the exceptional talent and hard work displayed by all participants, RTS congratulations and thank you to the prize winning students congratulations to all the teachers who took the responsibility from students registration to guidance and submissions also we would like to appreciate their efforts by giving them certificate i also appreciate efforts of our guide coordinators experts examiners and technicians I want to extend our sincere gratitude to our amazing CSR partner Merck's Global Service Center and CSR lead Kavita Sapra our donor Prabodh Arth Sanchay Dr Nalini Tai Gujarati and Mohan Rao Gujarati who have supported and guided us to design Nisargamitra project together we are creating lasting change and building a better future thank you for your invaluable support and generous contributions we have been able to engage students in activities that promote environmental stewardship and awareness these activities have really inspired all students to think about their role in protecting nature they are excited to be real nisargamitra we believe that these students our future nisargamitra will continue to make a positive impact on our planet now i would like to announce that nisargamitra 2.0 will start from august 2024 registration will start in july once again thank you everyone to be part of nisargamitra olympiad hello everyone congratulations to all of you for successfully completing the nisargamitra olympiad I am Rishikesh Dada and I will briefly tell you about an excellent opportunity that we are making available for all of you. In Prabodhini we run a science activity. We call it Vidnyandal. It is a place for curious students like you to explore and learn science through hands-on activity. We are launching a monthly science exposure activity. Each month you will get a chance to perform science experiments, visit research institutes, meet scientists watch scientific films and much more we will share the details of this activity soon on your whatsapp group see you soon thank you all